Hey Collective, uh, welcome to the channel guys. My name is Nali A.K. Owl Tarot and I'm here to give you guys a reading from your ex. We're going to see what does this person want to tell you today. What do they want to confess, messages, and the possible outcome for today. Let's see what is going on with this person. But before we get started guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Guys, if the reading resonating, you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. So guys, I went ahead and as you noticed, I was shuffling. Three cards came out. I went ahead and I kept those cards just because I wanted to get some clarity in this situation. So the first card that came out in the upright is new chapter. Okay. So I feel like your person is in this energy where they want to start off a new chapter with you. They're trying to move past the past uh, the past situation, the past turmoil, and they're trying to rebuild something here with you. The next card that came out is Destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. So I feel that this individual right now is really trying to find their way through their through their life, through their decisions, through through whatever it is that they did to you, whatever it is that they, they need to do for you. This person is destined to be part of your life, but at the same time, they're on their own path to get some things clarified and get some things fixed here. And with the final card, this person is asking you for time, okay? They do need some more time in the situation. They are afraid that by the time they do come back towards you, um, it'll be too late to take action, but I do see this person still taking that leap of faith, okay? So the next card I have is a return here. So your ex is getting ready to return back. Okay, this person will be making an entrance back into your life. With communication, there is some type of communication coming in here. So whether it is via a uh, social media or a text message or even a phone call or for this for that matter, this person showing up, there's going to be communication about this ex returning back into your life. Why? Because they've been ascending. This person has been getting clarity. They've been getting truth. They've been trying to figure things out for themselves and figure things out in this relationship. And with the soulmate energy, I feel that this individual finds they very well know that you're their soulmate. They know that you are the person that they want to be with and, and this is who they want to come back home to, okay? And with the bottom, at the bottom of the deck, I have release. So this person is releasing all the toxic behavior, all the toxicity that they were dealing with in the past and they are ascending and they're coming towards you and the reason is because I truly, honestly feel that this person is going to get ready to offer you commitment, this person's going to get ready to offer you commitment, offer you love, and want to have a whole new chapter with you. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Please help me give my collective clear and concise messages, please. Please help me give my collective clear and concise messages. I have the Queen of Wands. Collective, you may be dealing with the fire sign, but this individual, they find you very attractive, very sexy. This person, they want to be with you. Point blank, this person just wants to be with you, okay? I feel that this person is also going to be very persistent, okay? They're not coming in here confused like they were in the past. They Once they walked away from the situation, all confused. But I feel that now that this person has had this opportunity to finally figure things out for themselves, they know what they want. They want you. They want to be back in your life with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel that this person is prepared to take this leap of faith with you. They're prepared to commit to the connection. They're prepared to commit to you. With the Knight of Cups, expect an apology from this person. For some of you, for those of you that love flowers or gifts, this person, who doesn't, to be honest with you? This person's coming in with gifts in hand, and they're coming in with an apology. This person is really wanting to explain why they acted the way they acted in the past, and they're hoping and praying that you allow them another opportunity to come in from out of the cold. Excuse me. They're hoping that you don't slam the door in their face is what I just heard. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this person's true intention here to end this freaking nightmare? 
They want to end this nightmare of separation. I feel that this person has not had an opportunity to even have a full night's rest, a full rest night of sleep or whatever way you say that. This person has not been able to, <coughs> excuse me, to, to relax or, or even breathe because they're constantly dealing with anxiety. They're constantly dealing with depression, confusion. They're wanting you back. They just don't know how to take that leap of faith. But I feel that this person is getting themselves prepared to come towards you and end this nightmare. Their intention is to reunite with you and it is to reconcile with you. They, I just heard they want their family back. They want their person back. And with the seven of wands, I feel that this person will fight anything or anyone just to get you back. They will do whatever it takes to get you back. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What would this person like to tell my collective here? What would you like to tell my collective? Three of Wands, they're coming. They want you to know this reading is meant for those of you guys that were wondering if your ex was going to come back and if they were going to beg you, if they were going to apologize to you, if they were going to ask for a second chance. This person is confirming to you in this reading that they are making plans to come back. Prepare to see them. Knight of Wands, this person is going to come in out of nowhere. They've made a decision already. They know what they want with the two of swords here and they're coming in. They're coming in and you will have to tell them face to face whether you choose to allow them back into your life or you just don't want another opportunity with them. But they're going to ask. They're going to ask you, are you going to give me a second chance? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Six of Swords. This person is plotting and planning. They're plotting and planning. They're already planning to come towards you. If they have to take the train, the bus, a plane, a boat, whatever it is that they have to do. But they are planning to come towards you. This person is already making plans in their head that they're coming in. That they want to reunite with you and they want to move this connection into calmer waters. With the strength here, this person is coming in very adamant. As I told you, very, very adamant. Has a plan. Know what they want. They want you, and they're not going to walk away from this situation without you. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the outcome in this situation? The ending of a painful cycle is the outcome. For those of you guys that would consider giving this ex a second opportunity, this will be the ending of that painful cycle. It will allow this connection to once again come into, into reality. It will allow for you and this person to finally sit down and talk about those past deceptions and those past heartaches, those past problems, and finally leave everything out in the, in the cold, leave all the problems behind, and be able to move on and move forward. Outcome in this situation... You guys manifested this. I feel that this person manifested you back into their life. This person wanted this opportunity to come back into your life. And they're going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. This person's coming in here with new beginnings. They plan to have a passionate new beginning with you. They plan to follow through with all the plans that they're going to they're, they're gonna tell you. With all the promises that they're going to make. This person plans to follow through. Final messages here for my collective universe. Queen of Swords, this person's coming in, speaking the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <clears throat> and the final message is the Ace of Pentacles. This person is bringing in a big, stable offer to the table. This person is bringing in truth, is bringing in clarity, is bringing in stability, and they most definitely want a second opportunity in this relationship. So for those of you guys that were wondering if your ex was going to come back, here he is or here she is. This person is planning to come back into your life. I would not be surprised if you if this person ends up showing up at your house today. Okay? All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification button. If you want to book a personal, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.